the general permanent charge. How have you found the job so far? Very enjoyable. I'm enjoying it. Um, I don't enjoy when you lose for obvious reasons. I don't like losing knots and crosses with my kids, never mind anything else. So it's difficult to take when that happens. Um, but at the same time, really enjoying the experience, really enjoying the hard work that we're doing and the reaction I've had from, from everyone involved. Malky, sporting director of Hibernian Football Club. I think uh, Hibs fans would say there's been a, a greater need for that. So what challenges have you inherited? I think initially it's really the imbalance of the squad. We've had three managers in a short space of time with three sets of players um, and contracts that are all in a variety of uh, stages. But there's, there's 15 at the contract next summer. So there's a real reset next summer. This summer there wasn't too many at the contract. And obviously we've got to get players into the squad as well to help maybe with his, his squad for this year. The challenge is we need to be better than last season. Um, the club demands it, the fan base demands it, but also the expectation. I'm well aware of it. I've been here for 10 years. It's now over to me to try and bring the football inside up to all the very good things that I'm now seeing every single day around the club. So I'm now witnessed and involved in conversations that I wasn't previously. So things about what the club are doing, all the really good things that the club are doing every single day, the decisions they've made, all the things that are going on in the stadium and the reasons why the, the improvements of the training ground, all these things are all done to make the club better. He's learning more and more. Um, you know, he's someone that the, I went on pre-season tour to Holland with him, but again, it's the, my balance, the balance for me is to stay at the road at times, uh, be there as and when he needs me. You know, I was lucky myself when I was young, a young manager, I had, I had a sporting director myself down at Watford, and I, I like to think of when I was the manager, what is it I wanted, and, and my sporting director, what, what did I need, what benefit can he help me with, um, and I'm trying to do that for him as well. I genuinely feel the structure that's now in place um, really gives the head coach a, a real opportunity to be successful because um, if I just take Malky for example, he's someone that fully knows the game, understands managing at this level, he's put, managed it down in England, the stuff he's done with Scottish FA, there won't be something I'll face in the next week, 10 days, 2 years, or whatever long it takes that he won't have already seen, so to have that knowledge that you can rely on um, as a bit of guidance at times can only be a positive. David's a head coach, David takes the team, David does deals with tactics and, and that's not for me to, to go into and be involved in. Because I've got, to be fair, I've got plenty of other things going on in my desk during the day. But a cup of tea as and when, and be that buffer for them. And, uh, you know, there's times where I wish I had that myself at, at certain clubs. And that's important and, and certainly something that going forward, I think, more and more clubs in Scotland will do. I want to talk about what Bill Foley, Black Knights, had to say about decisions that were happening at Hibernian. It would be good to put this to the board, but they are unavailable, you are here. Is that a relationship that needs to constantly keep building and will continue to build going forward? Without a doubt, I think it's something that uh, partnerships have to um, keep building. They've, they've been involved for a, maybe a year now. Um, I think, certainly I can't speak for it again for before I turned up. Um, I think the, the sporting director role here that I'm in at the moment and the, the guys that it's in is something that was part of their conversation um, with him sport so that was listened to and the, the position was hired by me on a weekly basis I'm in regular contact with um, part of the Black Knight group who are down at Bournemouth so you know once a week um, I'm talking because again I think con a, a kind of constant flow of communication means that misunderstandings don't happen and it means that the uh, reasons why things are done are explained whether you agree with them or not it's another matter but you know as I say there's a there's a relationship there that um, I've got to make sure that continues to flow. My full focus is on the football side to it. that's my job. My job I was brought to this football club and selected to do this job um, because they believe I'm the right person to do it. I believe I'm the right person to do it and it's now up to me to then go and demonstrate that. The noise that goes from outside and the noise from above will always be there and naturally happen. Uh, I just I try to allow myself not to get distracted and I know I've got a big enough job on my hands to worry about what's going on on the football pitch, uh, what's going on at the training ground every single day and my job is to make every single player at the club better. Um, and my coaching staff are exactly the same and that's my full focus and has been ever since the minute I, I took this job. What would your message to the Hibs fans be now then about what they should expect this season and where the targets are from your point of view and from the club's point of view. Clearly we want to get back into the top six. That's that's indeed we went last year. So that has to be the first target. Can we go as far as we can in cups as well? Clearly. 
but initially I want to make sure there's a more balanced squad here for the Hibs badge, for the Hibs fans for this first half of the season. You know, as of today, I think we've brought eight new signings in in the last six weeks. Um, there will still be room for another couple between now and the end of the transfer window because uh, we have to strengthen the team. How tough a test is back-to-back -back games home and away against Celtic? The challenges are going to be there every single week, whether you're playing Celtic, whether you're playing St Mirren, regardless, this new league has shown now for the whole time I've been involved in Scottish football that anybody can beat anybody, and if we drop below the standards required, it won't be enough, so we need to make sure we put the best we can be every time. And if we can do that and we can deliver that more often than not, then I'm sure we'll have a successful season.